welcome back guys yes I am wearing a baseball cap yes I'm having a bad hair day maybe who knows you don't know because I'm wearing a hat but I thought I'd wear a hat for a change um it kind of matches my top to be honest because it looks black on the camera I know but it's actually kind of browny green so it matches to me anyway it's meant to match for you guys but yeah um color coordination basically um so yeah podcast episode four uh real talk I, I, do i really call it that i don't even know what it's called anymore it's just me for 20 or half an hour whatever it is 20 minutes half an hour it's me just literally talking um whether it's real talk i don't know whereas utter nonsense who knows but it's just different to doing a normal video just get things off your chest you know and yeah happy easter basically i hope you had a good easter uh, if you celebrate easter that is if not i hope you had a good weekend good bank holiday um well um i know i did because sunday the weather was awesome i uh, went in, in the garden most of the time i mean would have had to be anyway because of like still being careful you know social distancing um but people in our family bubble were there like bubble that like, doesn't even make sense i don't know um because the rules everywhere are different so that might not make sense to some of you but there's only certain people you're allowed to let in your household that are within like your bubble if you like i don't know i don't know what that really means but like yeah um but things are looking good guys because the 12th is fast approaching and a lot more stuff will be open my parents business included which is great because they've had four months off and they've been doing my nutting for four months <laughs> No, but seriously, it's good. And uh, May, I think, um, restaurants will be properly open. I, don't, I think they're opening on the 12th, but, like, don't don't take my word for it. They're opening, but, like, I think for like, only outdoor seating. Uh, pubs. Pub, I need to go to a pub, guys. That is the main thing. Who cares about all the other stuff? Really. Um, haircuts haven't been an issue for me because I had them done by my dad anyway. He's in the trade, so it doesn't really matter to me. So I haven't had that issue of bad hair days. Though there's been times where I've let it grow pretty pretty long. Just because of, of like... I don't know. what. Just like... At the beginning it was like, I don't really want to go out. Because of like... This virus being around and all. Now, get to a certain point and just like... Who cares, you know? Not who cares, but like... After a while we thought, okay... We can make a day of going to the salon. Open up the salon. It's only us, a family... And then we can all do our hair. And we've done that on many occasions. Which is not against the rules. So don't go telling Boris. You know. I mean, has anyone followed the rules um, perfectly? Without fail? No. Is it possible? To some extent, it's not. Like, and... I'm all for, like... There's idiots who are just really not caring about other people at all by not following the rules, but there's, there's not following the rules, and there's bending the rules, you know, um, as long as you're being safe, you know, um, being careful, I guess, but I'm fed up of saying that, everyone's fed up of, you know, the C word, uh, well, I'd rather say the other C word than this C word, but yeah, don't know what C word I'm on about, if you're confused, I'm confused, and that makes two of us, or however many, people watching but um yeah real talk um no it's exciting and it's daunting at the same time because like change always kind of freaks people out i know it freaks me out um like to adapt to everything you know and get back in your routine because uh, i know i haven't been making nearly enough videos for you guys um I've been playing too much Fortnite and got into Minecraft and other games with this, my squad of like homies that I play video games with. Um, and yeah, my parents don't understand it. Like, my brother's getting annoyed because he's got his group of friends that he wants to play Call of Duty with, and I'm interrupting with that time. So it's like juggling that. And yeah, I mean. He's back to work as well, my brother, so... It's going to be freedom again, and freedom to 
make more videos at home, go out more. Um, don't know next time I'll be using the bus. Don't know when that'll be because that's a big risk. I don't want to deliberately put myself at risk because I'm going on the bus just to film a vlog. Like there's more important things. And I, I love vlogging and this is a big part of my life, but you know, one step at a time. And the other great news is that because on the 12th gyms are opening, I will be able to get back to Pajio Football after that date at some point. I don't know when, and it will only be training to begin with, because they've got to reorganise the whole league um, that we kind of stopped abruptly when COVID came. I, like, ended it where it was, basically. And the season normally starts in September. We're long past that. So I don't know what will happen there. I would say wait till September, but that is too long to wait. Well, we've waited long enough, so what's till September going to do? But anyway, training will be back with my teammates, and hopefully we're allowed to play against at least one other team. So we could organise that with other teams or some teams within our club. We'll see, but um, it's been too long since I've been in that chair. And yeah, I probably should have trained in it a bit more often, but it's in bloody freezing. Uh, in the summer, I, I took it out for a spin once or twice, uh, as you saw in the vlog. And yeah, just to get back to that would be great. That and the pubs. So maybe that'll be a bad idea because Saturday night I'll be in the pub. Sunday I've got to get up and go train and I'll be like like a zombie, literally. But it's, it's good. And spring is like, you know, rebirth. Easter is about rebirth and all this and like um, turning over a new leaf, I guess. But everyone says that in January and New Year. But And then just they just go off their diets and give up on whatever they're giving up or yeah New Year's resolutions are like yeah they don't really work by Easter you've given up and then Easter's another chance to say okay I'm going to change my ways now you know it's not good to always stay the same we've been stuck in a rut with all this lockdown so change will do us good even if it is a bit daunting but uh, there's so many things I'm looking forward to, but I still say it's like freaking me out a little, but that's normal, I guess. Like I said, nobody really likes change, though it is good and it is necessary. And thank God, you know, then we want to find out when we can get back to you going on aeroplanes again, going on holidays, a holiday, Jesus, I forgot what that was. 2019 was the last time I had a real holiday too long ago um, but it just makes that holiday that much more great and it was uh, with all the the well we're up to 8 a.m. some nights you know 8 a.m. the next day you know what I'm saying um, the average time was about 4 a.m. getting to bed that was fun and a lot of alcohol was involved not that that hasn't been involved the last year of an evening in lockdown I just remember in like last year, when it, whenever lockdown started, March, whenever, I started watching the whole 10 seasons of Walking Dead uh, with my parents. Me and my brother had already seen it, but we got them watching Walking Dead. Uh, all this zombie nonsense that kind of fits in with... I don't know, everyone felt like it was the end of the world. Like this apocalypse of staying indoors and all this. But it wasn't. It's just like a thing that happens every hundred years, a virus. Nothing new. Um, so we watched that and uh, yeah, we're up to date on that now. Because they've carried on making it now. Because they stopped for a bit for lockdown. I don't know what season I'm even on now on Walking Dead. But I've kind of got fed up of it now. It's like dragging on too much. Any series that goes ten years, come on. It's too long. I love it, don't get me wrong, but like, it's overstayed, it's welcome. I don't know, like, think of like Breaking Bad. That could never have gone on for that long. Just because of the type of show it is. But, um, yeah. I haven't been as addicted to Netflix recently as I have been in the past. Um, though I did see that pirate documentary, which is pretty interesting. Um, 
but yeah, I've been trying to live stream more, but that never happens. As much as I say it will, it don't. So, yeah, I'm going to try and live stream more, but who knows if I will. I did a live stream on Minecraft, on Twitch. I want to make a like video out of that and put it on YouTube. You'll see that soon. Well, I was going to do that or do this today. I'm filming this, so it's one or the other, really. But yeah, it's like one video a week I'm making. But I'm trying to change it up and not do a vlog all the time or this all the time. Um, I did promise that I'd do podcasts more regularly, but I don't think that's really worth doing. Unless I've got something big to talk about, you know. It depends what's going on in the world. Anyway, moving on to like showbiz and celebrity stuff. The guy from Friday Night Dinner, R.I.P. Um, Martin Goodman's, his name was, in the show anyway. But he featured in a lot of movies. Quantum of Solace, I think. Bond movie and... Uh, yeah, so R.I.P. to him, that's pretty sad. He was only 53. Um, I'm, I haven't... Um, watched a lot of Friday Night Dinner but I've got a lot of friends that do and that, that, was, that was probably like proper sad for them sad anyway but like you know what I mean when, any, whenever someone from a TV show goes it's like a part of you goes with them because like you love that show at some point um, and DMX everyone's praying for him because uh, he's not too well I uh, don't know what would have happened by the time you've watched this but he is in hospital and it's pretty critical. Um, and we'll see what happens there. DMX being a rapper, if you didn't already know. Uh, he, I think he's almost 60 or in his 50s. But a lot of drug abuse in his life. Um, but, you know, it's easy to say, oh, it's his fault. But you've got to feel bad for the guy. With all the, his family sitting around him when he's in the hospital bed. Draining his money away in those bills. Because here we don't have hospital bills. On that level, thank you, NHS. I don't need to clap for him, though. Thank you is enough. But, yeah. Respect to the NHS. I do applaud you. Um, but I'm not going to stand out every Thursday and applaud you. And act like that makes a difference. When you need to get paid more. So, Boris, get your finger out your backside. <laughs> I'm trying not to get political, but... I can't help it guys, it's in my nature, I did study journalism, so isn't it in my nature to spread lies as well, no, I don't do that, it's real talk, that's probably why I'm not a journalist, not speaking for all journalists, but you know, if you want your real news, just go to the, just go, I say Reuters is the best place to find the real news, because that's where most news channels get their news from. That's where the, you know, it's unopinionated, unbiased news. If you want the facts, you know, you've got to be careful where you go. Or read more than one article about the same thing from different newspapers or sites or whatever you want. Because that way you get the full picture. Because everyone's just trying to paint the picture in, in their way, like with their opinion. So you've got to be careful of that. Um, but yeah, where was I? DMX. Yeah, he's not too well. Um, but yeah, I found an article about him, speaking of journalism, and uh, it just said cocaine abuse, been in prison, rapper, all this. Like, no respect for the, for the person. Um, read, a, read a few articles that said the same thing, which is sad, because then instantly people go, oh, it's his fault then. I mean, that's harsh. But DMX, in his time, with that voice, that mental voice that he has, like, and the Rough Riders, his crew, I guess. Um, yeah, it was just a different time, mid two thousands, I think. Like, yeah, around the same time, like maybe Fifty Cent was big. That kind of era, and some of you are probably sitting there like. Who the hell is DMX? Well, you haven't lived if you don't know who DMX is. Um, 
yeah, that's just sad news, annoying. Uh, I'll keep you updated on that. Something might have changed by the time you watch this. Hopefully nothing negative has happened in that situation, but we'll see. And, um, yeah, it's just one of them things, I guess. People in that industry get influenced in different ways. It's not entirely their fault. You, know, you might think it is. But yeah, if um, you're not familiar with Twitch, um, it's where I do a lot of my live streams. Um, I should probably like put the details of that in there somewhere. But I generally can't remember the the tag I use on it or the. Well, I guess it's Luigi Twenty One, something or, so, or something on that level. Um, if you want to go and watch me on Twitch, I did live stream on YouTube. Um, but I swear too much, and I don't know, from Twitch I can make it into a shorter video, put the highlights into a, like a 10 minute clip and then put it on YouTube, but if I live stream on YouTube and I put the same bit into a clip, it would be annoying I guess, I mean personally I think like, I wouldn't watch an hour stream of anything, of any game, maybe of one of my favourite like, YouTubers talking, but I wouldn't watch a live stream necessarily, especially on Fortnite, um, because I could never be as good as some of them people, so I wouldn't learn anything anyway, and unless they're funny and good at the game, but then if they're good at the game, that might annoy me because I know I'm not, like, I'm nowhere near that level when it comes to to playing that game, I just play it for fun, to socialise with friends, uh, and then Minecraft is just a different type of game altogether. It is probably one of the best games, like, well, it's weird me saying that because I wouldn't have caught myself playing it years ago. Um, but now I'm playing it. Peer pressure, whatever you call it, I gave in. And it's a brilliant game. Like, if you like architecture and designing stuff, it's brilliant for that. If you're creative as well. Which I like to think I am in some capacity, being on YouTube. All 116 of you. Just make it 120. 116 is just an annoying number. 120 at least. And then go, well, a million one day, but. Uh, when I heard that on um, the interview I was on recently, um, I was like, what? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm aiming to get a million subscribers, but I don't know how, how or when that's going to happen. But it will. I don't know, but still hearing that is like, well, a million, never. Um, no, like I, I always say, to stay humble, I guess. Believe in what you're doing, I guess. Don't know how I got to that from Minecraft. But yeah, even on Minecraft, like, it fuels that creativity, I guess. It's just a game, and I've had a lot of help from friends who know about the game more than I do. It's been funny learning how to play it. And you'll see that in the in the video highlight reel I make of my live stream. You'll just see how I just don't know anything about the game. Literally just winging it. And I'm always playing FIFA at some point, but don't really like to stream FIFA. I just like to play that and relax. Well, I say relax. Throw the controller at the screen. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really film that anymore. Play a lot of GTA here and there. Should probably live stream. Um, but I've done the Kai Perico heist unbelievable amount of times. If you know anything about GTA, Grand Theft Auto, I'm going to stop right there. Because uh, that game is so annoying sometimes. Why am I moving? Who knows? Force of habit, I guess. But yeah, guys. I want to thank you. It's been fun. It's been interesting. It's been some real talk. Hopefully you've learnt something or seen a different view or looked at something in a different way now. But yeah, just hang in there, guys. Um, literally, like, it's not long. You never know, we might end up in another lockdown. Who, who knows? But I don't want to say that. I just did. So get used to it. But um, if we've done a year of lockdown, what's another month or whatever? You know, it could happen, who knows. We got this far. 
I never thought we'd still be locking down in 2021. And we really thought it'd be a better year. It hasn't really been a better year, but yeah, we've got the vaccines, you know, less possibility of getting really ill from getting COVID. doesn't mean it'll stop you from getting COVID, so you still be careful, you know. Nothing's really changed in that sense. Um, get rid of Boris, I say. But then, I know people will grill me for that. Um, what Prime Minister could have done any better, but have you seen Boris's hair? He needs to get a haircut. And of course we know he's going down the pub. Aren't we all going down the pub? We need it. Jesus. Um, but yeah. So Easter is done. It's time for rebirth, like I was saying earlier. You know, start again, start a new leaf. Turn over a new leaf. Um, change something. Um, or just... I don't know. Like I always say, just be nice. Just be nice to people. We don't know what they're going through. You, well, you know what a lot of people have been through. So knowing that, why um, unnecessarily uh, be nasty to people? Unless they deserve it, then, oh God, you can slap them in the face. Um, roundhouse kick them if you need to, if they have done something to deserve it. Otherwise, just be nice to people, you know. Don't judge. I, I try not to judge. Because I've felt... You ever had that thing where, like, Someone's looking at you, like, you feel like someone's eyes are judging you, like, you can tell. Like, they're just looking at you, or not looking at you, but you feel like you're being judged when you're in an environment. Um, I've felt like that, and I don't wish that on anyone. Um, whoever you are, because everyone's got something that makes them unique, makes them great in some way, and makes them stand out from the crowd. Um, I mean, like Pink Floyd say... All in all, you're just another brick in the wall. But I take pride in the fact that I'm not. And that's a good thing. It's a gift and a curse, I guess. But yeah, don't unnecessarily hate or judge people when you wouldn't want someone to treat you that way. It's just simple, really. And 2020, we've kind of gone a bit backwards as a culture, as human beings. Forgotten that. And COVID hasn't helped. The lockdown hasn't. But things are getting better and there is good out there, guys. As much as there's bad and people that don't deserve to really have what they have. That's how it is. It is what it is, guys. You've got to make the best of what you got. Um, you know. Be thankful for what you got instead of wishing what you wishing you had this or that. Just be grateful for what you got and um yeah, um, that's it for me, guys. I, I forgot about the um, David Dobrik situation. Yeah, they're a cult and they're crazy. I'm not. I'm not watching his videos anymore. I'll be honest. It's kind of tainted the whole thing, the whole atmosphere of that. Of the, I don't know if you heard what happened. It's like a um, like someone got abused on one of his videos, basically, and it's all come out and like. All the pranks they played on people, that people didn't really want to be played on them. Um, anyway, like I said, just be nice to people. Um, more on that situation as it develops. Um, that is it for me. I've been your host, Louise21. Take it easy, fam. Peace. And we are out of here. <laughs> I'll reach the button now, damn it. <laughs>